Welcome back to Bash Wars in episode 67 of Notorious Pro Wrestling, the TEW Let's Play series where we find out what exactly would happen if Conor McGregor started his own wrestling promotion. Oh, it has been a week or two since you've been here. So, let's take a look at the show you missed. Our lucky number 67 is our show rating. Uh, can't really find a fault. Even the mid-card guys such as Miles Kamen and Mark Billington pull out a 45 which is not bad. Um, main event, Jonathan Gresham versus Eastern Race was pretty pretty good. Pretty good and then a strong corner McGregor promo to wrap it all up. So I was more than happy with the 67. Moving on to news. So we re-signed Oshin Delaney and Charlie Carter, whose contracts were up. Uh, they signed for about three years. Um, they're young, they're talented, currently in the notorious pro wrestling fight school. Um, so yeah, they have definitely been promoted to a mid-card status now with the likes, or with their recent heel turn and alliance with Eddie Dennis to form the stable epitaph. So yeah, it's always kind of cool to see. Um, so yeah, they'll be around for a good little while. And then we also signed Nick Aldis. Uh, he will probably debut sooner rather than later. And I don't know if I had mentioned it before, but he has divorced from Mickey James and the Notorious Universe, sadly. Uh, but yeah, he'll be a big key player going forward. Probably our top heel for a while. I think his first feed's actually going to be with Miles Kamen. Sounds weird, but kind of want him to come and kind of come in and feud with Coach Doug a wee bit you know with their history in the British invasion um, that'd be a nice kind of entry level feud before we start seeing kind of what he can bring to the table uh, so let's get into booking this week's show shall we okay and we are back coming at you from the liquid room in Scotland it is Thursday Night Wanted and for the first time in a while I didn't have to put anything on the pre-show I just felt the urge to, so I had Ozzy open who will probably be returning in the next couple of weeks uh, just to get a bit of momentum back on their side um, but yeah this, I, you can kind of tell that I overbooked <laughs> you can kind of tell that this was the week where I shuffled things about uh, the last time you guys were here and it's led to uh, let it be a much lighter card but I still think it should be good, Jim Storm vs Jaleetha will be a good match um, although James can't go 20 minutes which is a bit worrying um, but no it should still be good so let's start the show pre-show match Ozzy Open defeated Leo Ortiz when Kyle Fletcher pinned Lucas De Leo with a fidget spinner Kyle had a 58, Mark had a 60 uh, Peter had a 34 and Lucas had a 36 uh, Leo Ortiz were off their game um, but good chemistry bonus and tag bonus for Aussie Open. 52, which is good. Then on to the main show. Uh, In-ring segment where Jay Lethal and Chris Hero sign a contract for another match, this time at the pay-per-view. Uh, unlike last time, things get a bit personal. You know, Chris Hero, or Jay Lethal says, you know, he's the man. He's carried a company through dark times. You know, he was a Ring of Honor world champion. Chris wasn't. He was just a tag champ. He doesn't know the pressure of what it's like to carry a company. And uh, Hero says, yeah, he was never, you know, uh, a world champion in ROH, but he was the first NPW champion. And Jay carried uh, ROH at a time where it was a shadow of its former self. You know, so they start kind of really throwing jabs. Uh, Connor, who's there to oversee the signing, pretty much says, you know what, this can't be like the P12, or there can't be a draw, and he puts a stipulation, no DQ, no count out, nothing like that, there must be a winner via pinfall or submission. 84 segment, which is good. 
Next up in a decent match, Mandry's defeated Ken Mam Malm <laughs> Mam <laughs> Ken Malm's team in 932 with a shooting star press. Uh, Ken had a 33 and Mandry's had a 57. 50 rated overall, which is okay for a squash match. Post match then. Eddie Dennis comes out and he is livid after being attacked two weeks ago and being spray painted. Uh, he's so angry that he agrees to let Mandrews have his match against him at the pay-per-view, but he says under one condition, uh, if Eddie beats Mandrews, he has to leave Grado at Talent Agency. Grado, who's with uh, Mark, gets at his knees, begs and pleads him to not do it, but Mark agrees to the stipulation. 62 rated match. Next up, we've had good wrestling and decent reaction from the crowd. Grizzled Young Fets defeated the Velocities uh, in 14.38 when James Drake pinned Jude London with a ticket to ride. Zach had a 60, James had a 61, uh, Jude had a 45 and Paris had a 44. Uh, really good performances so far from the Velocities considering they're kind of just jobbers. So watch this space I guess. Good tag bonuses uh, and chemistry bonuses for the Velocities. 56 overall, which is good. Post-match, Easton Reese, he's at ringside with his new besties, Grizzled Young Vets, uh, is attacked by a returning Mark Haskins who jumps the railings at the crowds and hits him in the knee with a baseball bat. He then flees uh, backstage before Grizzled Young Vets, Grizzled Young Vets can catch him. Uh, 52 rated segment. So that's just to continue their feud and now have Mark, Mark Haskins return. Next up in about that good heat and good wrestling, Crazy Mary Dobson defeated Tennille Dashwood in 15.04 with a legged moonsault following interference from Tessa Blanchard. Uh, Mary had a 55, Tennille had a 54, all in all a 56. Post-match Dynasty Girls, Tessa and Zia lay out both women. Um, and Tessa pretty much says to Crazy as she's lying there like don't forget I literally just handed you this title shot and that she should be thanking her uh, and then says that Zia has unfinished business with Tennille uh, she's no longer the woman that Tennille once knew and that she will see her at the pay-per-view so that's two matches set up for the pay-per-view uh, Crazy Mary Dobson versus Tessa for the championship and a grudge match uh, Tennille Dashwood versus Zia Brookside one more time. 58 rated segment, which is good. And in our main event, and about that had fantastic heat and great wrestling, Jay Lethal defeated James Storm in 1530 with a flying elbow drop. James had a 56 and Jay had a 63, which is awesome. All in all, a 60, which is very good. And a 66 overall, which is great, I'll take that. Uh, the match no really wasn't a bad card on the match to be fair even the squash match between Mandrews and Ken Mamstein was a 50 so yeah awesome from everyone so only news then to come out of the tapings was that Chad Gable could be leaving WWE which is pretty cool um, I do not think it is a bold statement that he has been wasted in WWE for years so yeah I think be cool to see what he does outside of uh, the, the big dub so yeah that's pretty cool so that is it then for this week next time you guys will be here will it will be the keep her lit pay-per-view uh, which will have a fucking stacked card uh, it'll have Ace Austin versus Carlos Romo in a Texas death match. Old friends turn bitter rivals. It'll have uh, there must be a winner match between Chris Hero and Jay Lethal, a return bite from their P12 draw. And also Jonathan Grisham versus Pentagon uh, for the NPW title. Just to name a few. <laughs> so yeah, it should be a hell of a card. Um, If we don't... <laughs> if we don't break the 67 streak with this... I would be very surprised. Uh, I would love, love, love to be able to break the 67. I'd love to be... See if we get 70. Ho, oh, oh. If we get 70, that'd be great. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, no idea what 
the future has in store. Um, but that is it for this week. If you have enjoyed this episode, do leave us a like and subscribe to the channel for more NPW and other great shows from myself and the rest of the Bash Bros. Um, if you have any suggestions for storylines, pay-per-views, pay-per-views, <laughs> stables, whatever, leave them in the comments and I will try to book them for you. And with all that being said, I will see you next time on Bash Bros.